Ananias, one of the young men he grew up with, no doubt. Come on and read. One of the brethren, read. And I asked him concerning the Jews that escaped. Uh-huh. With the love of the captivity and concerning Jerusalem. Uh-huh. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. All right, so the first thing that we see in fulfilling your calling is that you have to be in tune with God and you have to develop a burden. So number one is you must develop a burden. Anybody that you ever see fulfill their call, at some point they were in tune with God and they made some inquiry or they looked around and they seen a need or they observed, man, we're the younger, uh, 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 could we be doing this? Or could we, uh, I want to see more people healed or I want more uh, 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 people to get saved to be a staff. They, they, they sense a need, they sense, uh, 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 and they begin to inquire or pray and then God gives them a burden. So here, they said they had a burden for two things, the church and the saints. You say, Brother Lee, where is that at? In verse number two, it says, I asked them concerning the Jews. At this time, the Jews were the people of God. These were the saints of God. He said, how are the saints doing? And he said, how is Jerusalem? Jerusalem was the place in which the church was. The, the a temple was set up. Jerusalem was fighting. In Hebrews, it said, you come to church. You come to the uh, heavenly Jerusalem. It was a type. So here he said, immediately, I don't care that I got this lofty position. I don't care that I got this degree on the wall. I don't care how much money I got coming in the bank. I'm burdened. I'm asking, how are the saints doing? That's my primary focus. If your primary focus is not the things of God and the people, of God, then you'll never have a real genuine birth. So here he said, how are the people? He didn't ask today. Hey, come here, let me show you. Uh, uh, hey, you want to see the king? You want to see all of his shoes? Hey, you want to see his chariot? He got chariot with 28 8-inch rims on. Let me show you. I, actually, I can pull them out with the white horses. Watch this. I'm going to pull them. No, 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 no. He wasn't trying to show off what he was about. Wasn't trying to say, I'm this, I'm that. Oh, let me show you my connections. Let me show you how powerful I am. Oh, you know I got that promotion. I'm a, a, a best for this guy. No. Immediately. How are the saints? How are the saints? Let me go a step further. Many people that you see God having mercy upon today, and matter of fact, many that had any background or any connection to the people of God or the church of God, many times, they don't just get up on the conviction. No, it's too serious of a time. Folk aren't getting saved today. I'm going to tell you why. Let me just put a newscast out there. Listen, many people that you see God having mercy on today, amen, before they even get saved, they had a burden for Jesus. Before they even got saved, you ask and they say, how are the saints doing? Okay, but the heaven is going. Is anything changing around here? What's going on? Who saved? Who not? Hold on. Is the standard still the same? Hold on. Is, is the song still being saved? The song? Hold on. What's going on there? They're asking up and not. They're not even saved yet. They're not even uh, professing yet. But they're coming around. You think they're just coming to church and they're observing. Is there still inspiration? Is there still fire in the, in the testimony? Is there still singing the same song we used to sing? Not some ditty. Not some uh, uh, worldly music coming up in here. What's going on? So many times you see even before a person gets saved today, anybody that was a backslider or grew up in the church, this and that, those that God is having mercy upon, you will see it before they even got saved. I remember I would be in the house and we had a house over on Rocco Street off of Francis. And one of the things that just turned me up, I come home from school, I'm in the barbershop, and then I cut hair together. And I'm sitting there cutting. And then he say, all right, I got to go. Knock on the door. Young brothers will walk in. Got their Bibles out. What the Bible teaches in this uh, Got a uh, cleansing of the sanctuary over here. But I'm here. I'm here. I told you I'm here. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a, on a Saturday. I told you I'll be here. And they're so excited. They're so excited to learn about the word of God, to learn about the history of the church, to learn about the purity of the church, the doctrine, the standards, the miracles, the power. And they'd go over to the living room, was to the left. They would shut this long door, and they were sitting there, and they would be on the floor, and they sitting there looking through the book, looking through the Bible, looking through this, and they just sitting there just, and here I am, caught up in the weak and beggarly elements of the world, just burnt up, just burnt up. So here I am, sitting there, away from the Obey a school that said nothing, but something in me. How the saints doing? How, how, hold on, hold on. Here they are with the pastor. Here they are sitting at the speaker. Here they are praying for the saints. A call come in. Yes, it's a song, so she's only dilated to a session since her water broke four hours ago. They're saying that they need to say the other. And he would stop. He said, hold on, hold on, brother. Come on in there. Come on, let's pray. And I came, and I'm sitting there. 
And they call and cry out before God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, bless, Lord. Father, bless the contractions, go. Lord, give my God. Lord, bless in Jesus. Lord, deliver this baby. You've been delivering babies for a long time. Well, my God, you're still able. You're just sitting there praying down heaven. Inspiration just filling the room. And they're sitting there by the phone. And they're laying there right there. Some of the sisters are with that sister just with their praying. And then one of them will call back. Okay, yep, it's up to a nine. It's up to a nine. We almost there. Okay, in the name of Jesus, Lord, bring it out. Lord, bless, Lord God. Rebuke every conflict. And they just cried out before God. Cried out before God. And they may stay there 45 minutes, an hour. And he's sitting there just crying out. My God, want to take a break. And want to go sitting there. Next thing on the phone. Baby's here, baby's here. Okay, is everything okay? Okay, praise God. And they sit there. And I'm sitting there. And those are some of the thoughts that were working my mind that I couldn't shake. I just couldn't shake. Here, they didn't even grow up. They didn't even know about this. This rich hair that I went to school. And I just thought, I didn't know the privilege of what I had been exposed to. I'm going to the school, my roommates. They said, hey, it's Saturday, a Sunday campus service. That's all I go over there. So I'm going over there to the campus service. I'm sitting there, and they see him, and they get up, and they say, come on up here, such and such. And we go, come on up here. And, and then I'm saying, oh boy, get up. He was with a girl at the club. That's the one that's, yes, and uh, see the Bible said, and I said, no, man, he ain't got no business up there. And they said, no, 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 no. We all say, we, all, we grew up in the woods back there, children. I said, no, bro, you can't serve two masters, man. I don't care what you say, how you say it, who baptized you, what name they uh 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 the Bible says you should know a tree by its fruit. Say whatever you want to say, but that, that ain't salvation. You can't be saved and not saved and saved and not. No, no, no. I didn't even know what scriptures to go to and say this, say that, but I knew what salvation was and that wasn't it. I may not could show you every nuance, but I knew what salvation was. But I'm sitting there and I began to say, whoa. What I had been exposed to was so precious. And here I am, wasting my time, wasting, just running. And something in me began to feel a certain way, like, oh. I mean, I remember I went to one time and Brother Mike Perdue was sitting there the outside, I breathed by the piss. He came in and said, I said, Brother Mike, I'm like, how you doing? He said, man, what you waiting on? I didn't even grow up in this, bro. Y'all bought me the church. Y'all showed me the way. I didn't know that. And now you not. Hey, what's going on, man? What is it? And I'm sitting there. No, like Mike, 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 I'm trying to make it. I'm like, Mike, no, listen to me, Mike. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't drink. Mike, never. I never had a beer. Never. Wouldn't put that. No, not a cigarette. No, no, Mike. I don't smoke. No, no, Mike. Mike, Mike I ain't got no chill. Mike, no, no, no. I'm in school. Mike, Mike. He said, you think that's you? God just preserved me. Wow. He said, you think it's you? God in mercy knows there's an assignment for you. And he's just having mercy, not letting you get destroyed out there with babies all over the place and don't doubt this and the other. What do you need to run now, man? I will go back and pray. Lord, please don't let me have a good game. Lord, I see the scouts are all here. Lord, don't, and literally, Lord, don't let me get caught up in something that I can't get out of. Lord, don't let the devil, I know he knows what he's doing. He'll do whatever he got to do to get me twisted and caught up. Lord, don't let that happen, Lord. Please, don't know. I want to be saved. Lord, I want to be with the saints, Lord. Please have mercy upon me. So you see, this burden would often go before a person actually even comes back. Many times you see a backslider that God has mercy upon, it's a certain way they'll act around the saints. They'll turn their music down. How you doing? How you doing? Good, good, good. Telling you stories about the, everything they say about the truth is positive. On the inside, they're, they're encouraging you. Stick with it, man. They're not even saying, telling you, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold us up. Hold us up. They got a burden that y'all don't, don't, don't switch nothing. Don't, don't, I want it to be just as it was when I left, when I come back. There's a burden there that God even senses before he even saves many times. So here, Nehemiah mm -hmm. had everything going for him. And you see those that are able to fulfill their callings, they're going to develop a burden. Their burden will be greater than any earthly burden. Their burden, their concern for Jerusalem will exceed any earthly. And it's not about getting this degree and doing this, and then I'm going here, and I'm making it. No, 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 no. Lord. We only here for a short time. And if you don't believe that, keep living. 
You're going to wake up one day and this thing going to be over. You're like, it's over? This thing called life is over? What did I really do? At that moment, it's nothing else going to matter. What did I really do for God? What did I really, what was my assignment? Did I fulfill it? What did I do with God? I let the devil get me, I pray, you let the devil get you caught up seeking this and seeking that and seeking the other. But here, Nehemiah had a real burden. Those that fulfill their callings, they'll begin to cultivate a burden. They'll begin to process and look around. Like Nehemiah looked around, you begin to look around in your mind. Hold on, how is the church's online presence? Okay, what about the new converts? Okay, what about uh, 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 those that uh, are getting saved? He was moved, read verse 4. Look what his burden did. And it came to pass, mm -hmm. when I heard these words, uh -huh. that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God so of So number heaven. one, he had a burden. His burden led him to inquire. Then he was moved. But he didn't just hear it. Some people ask, how's the so-and-so doing? Oh, you know what? She's still struck. Okay, you just been nice. <laughs> but hold on. What was that? You know, she's, she's still. You know what? Y'all mm -hmm. go, go to... Um, 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 states either uh, 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 or whatever y'all going to church, y'all go ahead. Uh, Lord, I want Sister so to be touched. Lord, he was moved. Moved. Lord, our young people. The devil wants to take our young people. Lord, I, I just cannot sit back. I'm moved. I'm moved. I'm moved by this. Lord, it was preaching the other night and teaching about prayer. And how many examples were shared about Sister Green? Lord, who's going to grab that burden she had? Lord, it's not the, it's not the most out there uh, 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 calling. It's not the other. Uh, but oh, what the heaven said one time, he said, listen, mm. I don't remember. Mm. And those that even grew up here probably could tell you, I don't remember a single message Sister Green ever preached. He said, but I don't know if I had a more productive minister ever in my ministry. I'm sitting there listening to him. And brother so-and-so, he preached down in Springfield and said, he did. And brother so-and-so preached. And so-and-so got saved. And brother, and brother so-and-so, they said, if you ever die, you can get to step right in and it wouldn't mess up. And brother so-and-so, he was so. He said, you heard what I said. He said, I cannot tell you. They sing it. And maybe somebody here might know one message. Maybe, maybe. But his point was, that right there, it's the same help my ministry as much as any sermon in the back here. He said, I could come and I didn't have to say a whole lot. Hey, we did with somebody else. See, one reason why a minister is exposed, especially a pastor, is in position to really be a saint. Because a pastor that's worth his salt does not do a lot of talking. If it's something that's going to right, sometimes even saints, why aren't you tell? why aren't you tell everybody what because you got to pray things. And some things you got to hurt. Some things you got to just give to God. Some things you ain't never living. The Holy Ghost didn't give you the... But it could be somebody, and they're saying everything in the world about it. Giving you all this perspective and giving you... And your mind is just twisted. And what happens is... And if you ain't got confidence, if you ain't really got confidence that they Holy Ghost, that they would be impartial, that they would never do nothing wrong. Never. Your mind is just be all over the place. I don't know what to believe. I don't know. I don't just say, this is the This is the way she just keeps me praying. You didn't have to go into it. I don't even know these And she was so close to God. Sometimes she's like, I got it. You ain't got to say, I got it. I seen her way, way, way away. You telling me something I've been seeing. All right, you ain't come telling me nothing. You ain't I've been seeing it. I seen it when it started. I know. I, they all surprised. I ain't surprised. I ain't surprised at all. No, I'm surprised this took this long. I ain't playing no game. I'm in tune with the Holy Ghost. You don't mess with no Holy Ghost. You don't mess with God. You don't mess with the people of God. This ain't no church. This ain't no, this ain't no uh, uh, friends. This. No, this is Zion. This is. But here, it said, whose words? For greater conversions. Lord, these visitors that are come, we pray that my God, not a single service comes, and there's visitors that they're not brought to the back. I'm sorry, we want enough inspiration in every side. I don't care if it's Monday, Tuesday, when, whatever services, we pray, my God. How you open up doors and you're bringing people out, we pray. Your burden, you sense it. That's your burden. That's your burden. You said, my God, you sent you to do one of these. 
God, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I don't know them. I don't know where they're from. But I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless. Father, it's, on, it's a communion service. I don't care. They, 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 Lord, I pray in the communion service there's enough light shared through the teaching of what it means to eat the cracker and the blood. My God, that they see, my God, that this is power. This ain't nothing normal. This is the power of God. This is a New Testament church. If they ain't never heard of feet, of feet washing, we pray that they have to examine the word of God and see it for themselves, my God. And they ask the question, why don't we do this? Not look at us and why do y'all do it? They say, why don't we do this? Clearly in the world. I pray every time. You burdened. Not just that they come, not just that they get saved, but you know, Lord, no. No. I'm before God. I'm writing down everybody that was baptized. I'm writing down everybody that I see go to an altar and make a profession of faith. Everybody that gets, I'm praying that they make a clear breakthrough. They got to deal with some stuff. It ain't just going to an altar, Lord God, and then just going walking. I'm praying they get a clear breakthrough. I'm praying, Lord God, that they go on and they get genuinely sanctified. That's my prayer. I might not can work an altar. I might not can say this, that, and the other. But I'm praying, Lord, that you will reveal to them what it means to consecrate their whole life to God, that they can get fully sanctified. I I will not just come to church, sing a song, see God moving, and I ain't got no part about it. I'm not built. I'm not consciously engaged in no element. No, I'm praying that you're sanctified. I'm praying, Lord. I'm praying that they have the opportunity to see the truth, to see it, to, to, that it makes sense. This world today saying that you can live any type of way, call yourself a Christian, saying, I'm praying that they see the truth. Not man, but they see the truth for themselves, that God revealed to them why Jesus came, what he can do, what it means to be saved, what it means to be regenerated, what it means, my God, to be forgiven, what it means to walk in the newness of life, what it means, my God. Point after point. I'm before God. I'm not playing no games here. Seeing how God is moving, I'm not going to just sit here, I'll go to church and I to go home. No, 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 no. It's assignments that you have that makes the body go. You looking at this person and that person. No, every single one of us play a part. Yes. And not only that, Lord, people coming, they get saved off the street, they get saved, they go to church all their life. They never was taught a man dressed like this, a woman should dress like this. Society itself taught that. Every church in the world, Amen. every church taught that. Society taught that. It wasn't even a church thing. It was a moral thing. Right. How would you feel right now if I walked up here with a dress up? How y'all doing? <laughs> y'all want to say, brother? No. But let society keep going. And that becomes normal. And then you just partake of it. We don't follow the world. The church is to pull the world people out the world. We don't follow their trends. So you pray. Right. You say, no, Lord, hold on. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Ever get tatted up? What? The body is a temple of God. Seriously? Let's have a Bible study on tattoos right now. Old Testament, New Testament, the principle behind it, every element. Let's deal with this. Your mindset, I'm praying. This is foreign sense. Listen, the world is in such darkness. Such dark. He said it shall be as the days of Noah. It is in such darkness and gross darkness. That the average person comes, the church of God message, the Bible, saying it is full. It's, it's, it's like bringing a fire hole. It's like, my, Siri, man, I, are you for real? Man, I didn't know. And you're just going to just sit back and watch them come and just hope. I hope I hope they get grown. Oh, What are you doing about it, though? Well, I don't work. I didn't ask you if you work an altar. Well, I ain't got to preach. I didn't ask you if you got to preach. You don't see it. You don't see a need. You're not concerned enough to ask God, what's my part? Maybe it's just inviting somebody over y'all see. A person told me, he said, brother, y'all understand how difficult it is to be in the church. Guys, what you talking about? He said, everybody up in there, man, got somebody they related to this and that. And I come up in there and I don't, it's like I'm a foreigner. It's like this and that. Can you imagine if we didn't have no hospitable saints? But every service, you ran after service to your little group. Break up your follow ground and go over there and mix it up with somebody that thinks you're so close to. And make it, and God give you that assignment. And you may think that's so little. I ain't even doing nothing. But you got close enough to learn their name. You got close enough to learn their parents' name. You got close enough to learn what they like and what they don't like. So therefore, the message is strong and they're being blessed by that. But you have no idea 
how that little bitty relationship that you think is little bitty, that you got out your foul ground, went and connected yourself. It's inspiration. That's just one little text. Brother, I'm praying for you this morning, man. You read the scripture? Checking on you, man. Everything good? I remember we talking about later in the night, meet me at the church. So we down here at the church. He said, brother, I'm doing so. I said, you know this one? He said, man, this brother texted me this morning. This brother texted me. This... Wow. That's good. Wow. He said, he carried me through a cane right when I needed it. So here, not only was he burdened, but he was moved by the need. All right. Go to chapter 2, verse 4. We're going to have to kind of fly through this and write these down. Chapter 2, verse 1, Nehemiah. So number one, he was a burden. He said, man, how are the saints? How are the Jews? How are Jerusalem? Then he wept and fasted and prayed. Lord, I'm praying, dear God, for the healings. I'm praying for greater conversions. Lord, I'm praying for the establishments of new converts. I'm praying for that great that they get sanctified. They see the church, the truth. I'm praying they see babbling for what it is. I'm praying, dear God. Lord, I'm praying. I'm doing my part, Lord. I'm just burdened for it. Lord, I want it to be done. Lord, bless us and help us, Lord God. The saints, I'm saying, children, I'm burdened, Lord. I'm burdened. I'm burdened for the Friday night. Tea. I'm burdened, God. I'm burdened. I'm burdened. Go ahead and read verse chapter 2. Verse 1. And it came to pass in the ninth month, in the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of Atazeric, the king, mm -hmm. the wine was before him. Mm -hmm. And I took up the wine and gave it unto the king. Mm -hmm. Now I had been... Yeah. Not been Remember, that was his time. job. That was his job. Read. Now I had not been before time sad in his presence. My Lord. Wherefore the king said unto me, mm -hmm. Why is thy countenance sad? My Lord. Seeing thou art not sick. Uh huh. This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. All right. Come on. And I was very sore afraid. My Lord. And, the king, and, and said unto the king, Uh huh. Let the king live forever. Well. Yes, sir. Why should not thy countenance be sad when the city. The place of my father's supper, please. Lie away. Yes, sir, brother. Come on. The gates thereof are consumed with fire. Come on and read. Then the king said unto me, For what dost thou make request? Uh huh. So I pray to the God of heaven. Yes. And I said unto the king, Uh huh. If it please the king, Yes. If thy servant have found favor in thy sight, Uh huh. If thou would have sent me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchre, that I may build it. All right, number three was consecrate. Number one, burden. Number two, moved by the need. I'm moved. Number three, he was willing to consecrate. Now, you may say, but Lee, how is that in there? Okay, two ways. One, he was willing to give up whatever. He had this lofty, um, it don't matter. Number two, he was willing to put his life on the line. You know, it was actually, you was, it was a capital offense to come before a king sad. Mm -hmm. You go before a king and you say, that's why they had like little clowns and stuff running around the kings. Have you ever seen, like, oh, they got big old shoes running like this, ears are big, and they run around, and they're like, <laughs> it, it, keep the king cheerful. He got the burden of the world on them. Don't, kings don't come to him just trying to pull them down. No, 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 no. But here, he came before the king said, you know, man, I'm so burdened that I'm willing to consecrate my, if I lose my life, I lose my life. Or, I'm going to lose my lofty job. Lord, Whatever I have to consecrate. If I gotta come to church every service, a half hour early. That's my consecration. I go to every service a half hour early and I find me a quiet place. I find me a quiet place. This is my personal consecration. I'm with, I, it may cost me some sleep, it may cost me some gas, it may cost me whatever. It don't matter. I'm consecrated. I, I get the things list. Every weekend, I pray, I call every saint name out. I, I'm constantly, it don't matter. I'm going to lose an hour of sleep. I'm going to do it, but it don't matter. It, don't, it really don't matter to me. It, it, it don't matter to me. You know what? It, 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 if I got to get a different job because they wanted me to offer this job and I'm missing every service, I'm not able to, you know what? I'm putting in, you know what? There's $2 less an hour, but I'll do that as long as I can. It, it don't matter. Anybody that's absolutely able to fulfill their calling, you're going to see at some point in their life, they were willing to consecrate some stuff. It don't matter what it hurt me. It don't matter what I got to give up, but I'm going to fulfill the assignment of God on my life. I will make a difference. God, you can count on me. I will make it. Every decision I make is based upon, uh, based upon how will this affect me fulfilling my calling, my assignment. All right. So number three was consecrate. All right. Go to chapter four, verse six. Number four is they had a mind to work. Put that down. They had a mind to work. Go ahead and read. <coughs> So building the wall, mm -hmm. 
And all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof. Come on to read. For the people had a mind to work. They had a mind to work. Come on. When it came to pass, there was Sembalat and uh -huh. Tobiah, and the Arabians, and the Ammonites, and the Ashdites heard that the walls of Jerusalem. So here they had a mind to work. They had a mind to do whatever it took. You got to pray for a mind to work. You can consecrate all you want, but my God, you better pray for a mind to labor, a mind to work. We began to go to homeless shelters within an hour radius. We put an hour radius on the map. We said, is there a homeless shelter within a, is there a woman's shelter? Is there a shelter for a teenage girl? But within an hour radius, we're going to go there. We're going to go there and have Bible study with them once a month. Every first Thursday, we're here. They bring all the teenagers down. They some of them are pregnant. Some of them got, but we're sitting there. We're going through the Bible. We're reading the scriptures to them, letting them know there is hope. Amen. Those that, amen, were moved by the Bible. Bible study, we will have a van there to pick you up, this, that, and the other. So we said, you know what? We're going to be doing this. But we're not going to be a one-shot wonder. Sometimes it's only going to be two people. We went out to the shelter. We started the ministry. Now, now they have many churches going out. We started that. It wasn't even nothing going down there. They later had building of our and different ones coming down. It was, we weren't in ministry. We were nothing. Matter of fact, we had to ask the ministers to come and share the gospel because we didn't even know how to do that. But we went door to door. Since y'all go in there, go y'all, we go in here. We went door to door. Hey, all, all in here was all these beds. We went to bed to bed. To the young, hey, can y'all come out? We're going to be having a, a, a um, Bible study in about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes, we're going to Bible study. And we're going to sing some songs. And we're going to Bible study. And if y'all want to see or hear about a horrible experience, just reflect in your mind a service that the music is led by Brother Bobby and Brother Lee. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, and we used the Baptist hymn, whatever hymn we had to, we, we were, did, whatever little hymn they had to, we just found a song that we know. Amazing grace, how sweet the but we had about six people that came out. Lady bought a little child. I'm here, I'm just coming from Saginaw. I'm in town. This one came. This one just said, yeah. We began to pray. We would meet down there a half hour early. Again, Lord bless. Next thing we know, the room began to fill up. We began to go to the music and say, hey, you come down and see the song Thursday night, 7 o'clock, down at the show. Brother, can you come down and share a message with my brother Dan? Can you come down and share a message? Can you, can you come, come? We just did the work. A mind to work. Some nights, it was four singers and one mis two musicians and, and one minister. And this, some nights, everybody was too busy. But we said, if we're going to do this, we're going to have a mind to work. We're going to just stay after it. We're going to be there. If, if, if it's snowing outside, if it's this, that, and the other, we got a mind to work. We're not doing it for the applause of men. We're not doing this because it's just it's a cute thing to do right now. We never miss a Thursday. Never miss. We ain't everybody at the park. We never miss a Thursday. We never, sometimes we sit there and we didn't try to uh, jump out of our calling just to be doing Brother, sometimes we just sit there and nobody came. We just read the scripture. We say, okay, we're going to read over in... Um, Psalm 40, this is talking about David's conversion. It said that uh, I waited patiently on the Lord, and he heard me, and inclined his ear unto me, and brought me up out of a horrible pit, and set my feet upon a rock, and put a new song in my heart, and, and established my goings. May God bless you all. But God, we pray. God, we bless these people. May the words that we hear penetrate their heart. Help them, God. Please help them put their lives back together. Free them from any addictions. In Jesus' name. At that time, my man had no choir. There's a few, few of us. It was really like during a transition period where it went from from a and this and that generation, which was packed, and this and the other. By the time we came, it was that generation was a little bit older. When Jerry was up and off some and this and the other, and then we came, and it was just a just a few people. But it's there. Then he got a job shift, so he wasn't here no more. So we had to grab the mic and say, can you come down? They said, yeah. We said, we said hey, can y'all come to the They said, am I the one? Y'all the next. There are so many needs right now. What God is endeavoring to do right now, he's just like, please, 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 just look me more. Look, please, please. Look. <coughs> There's callings all in this room. All in this room. And by the help of God, we're going to fulfill it. But you got to pray for that mind to work. Mind to work. All right? Go over to uh, verse 7. Verse 7. Verse 7. 
Yeah, yeah four seconds. Come on. When it came to pass, yes. that when Sambalat and Tobiah the, and the Arabian and the Ammonites and the Ashtonites heard of the walls mm -hmm. of Jerusalem were made up, mm -hmm. and that the breaches began to be stopped. All right, next point is those that fulfill their calling, they bind up the breaches. They bind up the breaches. The breaches were little gaps in the wall. They could have just built it and left a little breach here, a little breach there, a little breach. Those that are fulfilling their calling for real, my God, they can say, they got some, the walls is here. Is you going to bind it up? Is you, don't leave no gaps. Don't leave no gaps, man. I had to make some phone calls. Had to get rid of some stuff. Had to change the wardrobe. Had to uh, release some stuff. Had to go there, ask them some apologies, make some restitution. It don't matter. I said, Lord, hold on. I'm not cutting no corners. Those that are fulfilling their call, they're not leaving no breaches in their experience. But they have to, oh, oh, sister, wants, can you? No, I can't because you get too close to guys on your job, and all the other sisters know as soon as I ask you to come up and pray, all the other sisters going to be the church is compromising because Brother Lee got her up there praying, and she up here get too close. To, okay, him over there. Hey, can you come up here? No, I can't have him do it. Why? Because he still listens to half rap, half this, and some of the unsaved children know that he still got some uh, 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 Facebook post or some stuff that, that, that ain't fully right. So if I ask him to come up and say, can he come up here and say a prayer uh, for this and the other meeting, a youth night, a youth meeting, or a change service is coming, friends, family, and friends uh, the week after next, so people are going to be coming, but I can't have him because some of the unsaved children know that he still halfway listens to halfway hip-hop, halfway church music, half, you know, is this the phone stuff, can I have her do it? No, I can't have her do it because, da, 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 whoa, 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 because they know that she cutting her hair and everybody knows that she cut and so also I can't have her do it. Why? Because she's our child. And so also I can't have her do it. Why? Because she's still got that. I can't have her do it. But him, blah, blah. no, no. If you won't fulfill your calling, every bit of light that God has ever shown you, every bit of light that the church has ever stood for, that God has backed up, you have to bind up the breaches. Yeah. Period. You cannot cut corners. You cannot do things your way. You will never fulfill your calling. Yeah. Ain't doing this dating on the side. You know the standard. You know what's proclaimed and what's preached. You can't have that. I got this late. No, 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 no. I'm gonna pray it through. I'm gonna go to the ministry and ask. Hey, listen. What about this and the other? So, 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 so. They're not gonna stand in your way. They're gonna make sure you qualify. You're a physician. So those. That's why I say I'm telling you. What God has never known now is so special. But you want the press pass and stuff. You can't be no. Uh, my friend this. My friend that. I told my wife. So we get married. I said we never have no breaches in our home. No, sir. No. You want a seat? That's why you better be get counsel before you talk what you like somebody. You don't know what type of standard they gonna hold. And wait, after you get a, after you get married, you're gonna see what they're really about. You're gonna see what for real. And any calling that you have gonna come straight down. Boom. Well, I can't do this because my my wife, she don't want to put all that stuff on my daughter. Or my husband, he don't want to do not want a sister to come listen. We've been saved. We've been married now for two years. I've never seen my husband have a devotion. I'm telling you what I know. Never. I never, I never walked in the room and had him just before God with his Bible open. My God. No, no pad out. My God. On his knees crying out. Lord, bless my family, Lord. Lord, all my wife up, Lord. Father, give her strength, Lord God. Father, bless the service, Lord. Bless the new converts, God. Father, since the soul of not feeling well in their body. Lord, bless Sister Denise. Go and visit Sister Lisa right now, Lord. Father, hold up Sister Lisa Bland on her shoulder. Father, we ask you that you bless Sister Tucker, Lord. Father, we ask you to bless Sister Linda Holmes. Father, we thank you for delivering that baby. Father, give us strength today. We don't know what we're going to face today. Father, the church is going through many battles. Father, keep the fire among us, Lord God. Help us not to let down anything, Lord. But forward, forward is the battle cry. So much to pray. So much to pray. Let me back off. I don't want to interrupt him. My husband's in there giving for God. Oh, oh. I ain't never seen that. What? Buying all the breaches. I'm buying them up. I won't be you. Where are the 15-year-old on fire young men? That's what grew the church. That's what had Bibles in the Jackson High. That's what grew the church on a uh, uh, rotary playground. That was the young men with fire. It wasn't by the hand y'all thought it was. They saw this man walking on the street. Oh, he's, he, it wasn't. It wasn't, I'm telling you. They had some group of young brothers, man. They had a, uh, uh, like a notepad. And it was getting bigger and bigger. What's this notepad? What do you got all these little index cards? Scriptures they had committed to memory. Every week, new scripture. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless. Yeah, well, 2 Timothy 2 15 says to show that self approved unto God. A workman need not be ashamed. Right to divide the word of the truth. Isaiah 20 26. The light of the moon shall be the light of the sun. The light of the sun shall be seven days. The days of God shall bind the priest. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah first, uh, Matthew 1 21. She shall reap of the sun. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall give his people from the sun. Ephesians 2 2 2 2 2 1. Uh, 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 you had to be quick and who were getting trespass to sin. And God, uh, okay, salvation, yes. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 5 17. Therefore, bring him in Christ. He's in the creature. Is it Wow, like what the, hell? Like they were going like an up and down the street, playground to playground. People were saying, not just some joke, not just some lukewarm, not no fire, no, 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 no. Fire is attractive. That's what the brother said yesterday. When we were having men exhortations during the feet washing. One of the brothers stood up. We had a little bit more time. Say, anybody get the word of exhortation? One of the brothers stood up and said, listen, you see all these men up in here, these young men up in here. Hold on. He said, you don't understand. The world is taking notes. They want to see, if they see something where a young man has got fire, the young man is passionate about God, they will say, where in the world is that church at? Where in the world is that at? But it's like God don't send that fire when there's breaches because if he did, the fire would seep out the breaches. It wouldn't even contain it. But when the breaches are bound up, there's an authority. There is a, there, there's a confidence. There's a fire that God sends. So we see that those that fulfill their callings, and you can ask any of them, they have to call some friends. I'm sorry, don't call me. Hold on, what? The devil wants them to leave a little breach. Mm -hmm. Don't let them get in, but just leave a little breach there. You can call me, we can kick it, we can talk. I ain't gonna mess with you. But it was something, it was something. One brother got it, got moved up, don't call no more. Because not that he was doing something or even intended to. He received something just being on the phone with the opposite sex that he knew. Quasi had an interest in just to get the stimulation that it came from to, as a man to feel she enjoys conversation with me. Light conversation. This day, he was getting something from that and he was leaving something on that he shouldn't be. So he had to let that go. He had to make it clear and say, God, I'm done. No, I'm not torn. No, I'm done. No, this breach will be bound up. I'm not going to let this be here. I'm not going out like this. None of the brother Hampton said, none of the sister agreed, none of the, none of the brother, no! What the Holy Ghost said, because they said, I want to fulfill my calling. I don't know, I didn't get saved to sit no bench. I didn't get saved just to be around here. I didn't get saved just to, just to say I'm saved, my God. But I gave my God, I gave my life to God so I can fulfill whatever that assignment is. All right, go to uh, chapter 6, verse 1. We almost done. Chapter 6, verse 1. Pray for us, pray for us. Fulfilling your calling, fulfilling your calling, burdened, moved by the need, consecrated. I'm gonna give up. A mind of work. If nobody else does it, I'll do it. If I'm the only one that shows up, I'll do it. If I have the prayer meeting and nobody comes, I'll be a one woman, a one man prayer meeting. And I'm gonna bind up every breach. I'm not gonna have no breaches in my experience. Come on, read with me. Now it came to pass. Uh -huh. Mr. Bella, it's now mind you, real quickly, the Bible speaks about sins of omission and commission. Not that these are sins. But the principle is the same. You don't want any breaches of omission or commission. Just make note of that mentally or write that down. You don't want any breaches of omission or commission. A breach can be something that you are like kind of torn with that you shouldn't be. Something, you, something that you're not dealing with. But it also can be some things that you're not doing that you need to do. Here God is saying, you never fit your calling. Why? You see that big old breach? It's here. That, what's that? That's your fast life. When are you going to? One brother, one brother went down, and they said, they said to me, um, really, I was convicted by a young person. I said, what? They said, yeah, I engaged a young person, and they asked me about my fast life. And they said they were fast to tomorrow night after service. Not tonight. And they said, what do you know what I did to me, man? That caused me to go home and just really stir up the thing because you know what the devil it, it began to be a little breach. First I said I got a headache. Then I said I was too busy. Then I said, you know what? I hadn't really concentrated, so it really ain't passing anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat a big bag. And then I said, just any other. And then one week passed. And then another week passed. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of this. But I gotta bind that breach up. I gotta bind that breach up. You should be tired and I gotta bind that breach up. And there was a time when I was fasting and certain stuff I wouldn't do. I wasn't surfing all over there and I wasn't all on social media. I'm fasting right now. That was like a little, I, I, I was a little, little tired on my time. I was a little tired. I prayed more. I said, believe God said, I wanted you. I wanted to fulfill that calling. What, what's that? 
What's that breeze? That's their devotion. What? That's their devotion line. They go to service. They do this. But as far as having an active, live, devotional life, where they get up in the morning, say prayers, thanking God for waking them up, praying for the day, praying for the burdens, and they get a scripture together, either they got an app, they got a phone, they got something in the back, they got a process they're following, they're going through the book, or they take sermon notes. So after the next day, I go over the sermon, with my notes, I just spend quiet time with me and God. That's where most of your growth takes place. That's like your private workout. Your private workout, you don't really get much better in practice. Or in the game, you really don't get much better. But if you really want to improve your jump shot, in the, in the practice, you're going over the zone. You're, okay, this is what uh, this player does, and this is the scheme that we're running, this, that, and the other. In the game, you're just doing what you do. But if you want to improve your jump shot, it's going to take repetition. That's your private workout. One, 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 one. I'm just a repetition. Muscle memory. Muscle memory. That's why they say 10,000 hours. You're not going to come beat nobody that's been put 10,000 hours in the gym. You may think you are. You may have a good game against them, but they're all muscle memory. They, they, they may not touch a ball in a month. They pick it back up. 10,000 hours. I'm here. Muscle memory. Eyes closed. I mean, just muscle memory. Muscle. But that's your devotion. That's where God reveals himself to you. That's where you understand the deeper things of God through that. So it cannot be any breaches. What a principle, bro. Come on and read it. Yeah, my six. Go straight to four. We got to time. Yet they sent unto me four times. Go back to verse three. Go back to verse three. And I sent messengers unto them to saying, and Sir Ballot and Gisham sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages in the plain of Ono. Man, I sit in that In verse number one, they had heard that they built the wall and they had bind up the breaches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the enemy came and said, Sam Ballot. Sambalit, I'm sorry, and Gisham sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet. Where at? In the plain. one of the villages on the plain of Ono. Don't go Ono <laughs> to Ono. Don't go down to Ono. Come on and read. No. But they thought to do me mischief. Yes, sir. And I sent messengers unto them, saying, uh -huh. I am doing a great work, so that I cannot come down. He said, I'm doing a great work. All right, the next point is, those that fulfill their calling, they don't come down. They don't come down. They don't come down. You sense they just don't come down. You know what? It'll be what well, happened with another uh, person like he used to ride waves. I said, how does he always be here? 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 70 years of salvation. Just fire every devotion. We're on a roll. Every morning, every devotion, every after first of he praying again. How? He used to ride waves. Thank you. <laughs> she used to ride away. In other words, I think Siri think her name is called sometimes. <laughs> so, so, so he would ride away. It'd be a group of brothers coming in, a group of saints people. He'd roll with them, right there with them. Many times, they may get a job, may just any other group. Another group could be ride with them and ride with them. I'm not coming now. I got to ride by myself. Oh, I'm not yeah. coming down. I will never let it be. Oh, I used to be studious. I used to be on fire. No, no, no. I'm not coming down. Those that fulfill their calling, they find me. I'm not coming down. I'm not. I'm not coming down from this quest that I'm on. My friends can call me. Those who come. I'm not coming. I got saved. When I got saved, there was like 50, 60 people got saved. Mm. But one by one. Mm. And a couple of my boys called me. They were, nah, I can't do them like that, man. It's my old crew. I got to buy. Listen. We still boys, but I'm not coming down. If you want to connect, you're going to come up to where I'm at. We good. I'm not cutting you off, but my God, you, our conversation, you're going to come up. I'm not coming down for what we used to talk about. I'm not coming, I'm not going to use slang and get back in your words. Yeah, bro, no, 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 no. We can connect, but you're going to come up to decency. You're going to come up to morality. You're going to come up to where I'm at. I'm not coming down. I'm not going back to sin. I'm not going back to what I used to. I'm not coming down from the quest that I'm on. It don't matter. I will fulfill the calling of God on my life. It does not matter. If you come with me, if you don't, if you go back, you go back. I'll leave that to you. If the person that helped me get saved go back, that's on you. I'm not coming down. Oh, no. Those that fulfill their calling, they have that mindset deep down within. They make it committed. I will not come down. It does not matter. Amen. So it's imperative to have that. Amen. All right. And lastly, 615, they finished the work. Committed to finishing the work. 
those that fulfilled their call, you look over their life and you'll see, hold on, I ain't coming down. I ain't coming down. No, no. No, no. I'm not coming down. Say what you want. Call me name, whatever. I ain't coming down. Come on, read. Six to the wall was finished. To the, the wall was finished. Yeah. Fifth day of the month. Amen. All right. And just for time's sake, they finished the work. They never stopped till the wall was completed. Sometimes they had to defend while they were building. Mm -hmm. My Lord. In other words, you had to fight spirits. Spirits trying to get you to come back. They put their sword up. Spirits, you ain't getting me back. Devil, you ain't getting me back. Habit, you ain't getting me back. But they kept on building. They kept on one hand, they had the spirit. The other hand, they were building. My God, I'm finishing the work. I didn't get in this thing to stop. I'm at perseverance. Whatever I got to do, my God. If the devil come in and get a blow in, my God, he going to get what? No what? Devil, I, de God, I'm dealing with this bull. I'm not coming down. I'm not stopping. I'm going to deal with that so I can keep going on for God. So here it said they finished the work. Now, the bigger assignment of the body of Christ. If I don't fulfill my calling right. to the highest extent that I need to, it will indirectly affect you. And if you don't fulfill yours, it will indirectly affect me and the body in general. Go to chapter 7, verse 4. Look at this connection. We close it out. Seven, verse one. Seven, one. Yep. Now it came to pass mm -hmm. when the wall was built, mm -hmm. and I had set up the doors, and the porters and the singers and the Levites were appointed. Go to verse 4. Now the city was large and great, mm -hmm. but the people were few therein. My Lord. And the houses were not built. So here, he had finished his assignment. Mm -hmm. And the wall was built. Jerusalem is now safe to be in that. The city was massive. Powerful, but it said the people were few. So he went and did inventory and he looked and he found all the genealogy.